everyone, it's Angela, and ever since I got my a7 II, I've been buying a lot of camera accessories, so I thought it would be fun to show you what I've been getting and kind of a mini review on some of the stuff. Some of the stuff is brand new, so I haven't even touched it, opened it yet, or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to show you and really just kind of get your all's opinions on the stuff that I got, and if I need to return it, you know. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Metabones, and I have use this. This is the adapter that I use to use my Canon lenses on the Sony camera and I would say that it does do its job. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Have you guys noticed if you have the Metabones that it slows down your camera? I feel like it slows it down so much especially when you're trying to review the pictures that you just took. I don't know if it's the Metabones or maybe it's the speed of my memory card but I don't know if you've found it that you get the same results. But also, I do mainly focus a lot and a lot of people have mentioned that the uh, autofocus isn't very good with the Metabones. I haven't really tried it out. I usually just always shoot on my tripod and always manually focus. So that really wasn't that big of a concern. I just noticed that it slows down my camera. And so because I have this, and I'm really glad I do, just so I can slowly build up my Sony lens collection, that I can st still use my Canon lenses but now that I have this and I can see how it works together it makes me want to get Sony lenses even more. So if you guys have any Sony camera lens suggestions please let me know because I know they do have a limited selection and I just want to know what you guys like the best. So speaking of tripods I used to have the BH55 the really right stuff BH55 and so now since I have a lighter camera I kind of wanted to go with a lighter system in general so I still have so I still have my Gitsu legs and I have switched to the BH30 is it 30 or 35 I think it's 30 BH30 ball head and then luckily I got to still keep this uh, plate on top but I have noticed that, but I've noticed a few things having the BH30 and the plate that I had for my BH55 working together. So before on the BH55 it was more like a knob, it was a solid circle. And with this, it's this knob that has this longer piece and it kind of knocks into this plate part. And I think for the BH55, 30, this plate must be smaller because especially when these two things are lined up together like this it is really difficult to to tighten with this thing around I think if it's on this if they're both on the same side together or something like that just when I'm out shooting I've noticed that it's really clumsy to have these two things together so I do have to pay attention on where these two line so of course I had to get a remote and one of my friends for the Arcanum Stu recommended this wireless remote. I don't, I can't figure out what it's called. Phototech IR wireless shutter as with Phototech velvet bag. No, that's not right. It is just a photographic accessory. I don't know. I got this from Amazon. Uh, he recommended this was a really good remote and I was kind of hesitant to get a wireless remote just because with my experience with my camera with my Canon camera that it was pretty difficult to trigger. I haven't used it very much. I would like to hold off a little bit before I give my opinion on this but this is the Sony remote that I have gotten and hopefully I will end up liking it. I don't I don't even think I saw a wired Sony remote. Because that's what I had for my Canon camera and I think I would prefer that just because this is sometimes clumsy to trigger. And over the years, being a photographer, I've collected so many SD cards. And with my Canon camera, I always had to use a compact flash. But now that I'm a Sony, I have so many SD cards. And so I just bought this little pouch to organize. I just thought it was really cute. I already put in some... SD cards that I have and I definitely have a lot more to put in here but just thought that was really nice to put in your bags and be small easy 
to organize and I plan on putting half of the unused cards on this side and labeling it some way when I have used cards put on this side just so I don't accidentally erase something or use a, a, use a memory card when it's already full or something like that. The last thing that I want to show you guys was something that everybody told me I needed. And so I bought extra batteries. And they're still in the case. I just got them. And I wanted to get your guys' opinions because I did buy the Sony batteries. And I know there are cheaper versions of this. I think they're like Japanese versions that you can get on Amazon for this. And I'm kind of hesitant on doing that just because I've never used a third-party battery before. And I don't want anything to happen to my camera. So... I'm a little scared about that, but if you guys have good experiences with third-party batteries, let me know. I think these were about $50 each, and so I have obviously the one that came with the camera, and then I bought two extra, just because I heard three was a good amount of batteries to have when you're shooting with these Sony cameras, just because they run out of batteries so quickly, and I hate doing that when I'm out. And then I bought the wall adapter, just because... With the Sony camera, you have to plug the camera into the, the whole camera into the wall to plug it now, and I don't like that. I, I, want, I wanted to have some kind of wall adapter, so I got this. Um, I don't remember how much this was, but I don't even know if there's a third party thing for this guy too, this wall adapter. So if you guys have any information on the batteries, definitely let me know. And if you guys have any Sony accessories that you think I need for my camera, please let me know. And also leave lead suggestions because I would really like to hear that too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Angela and I hope you enjoyed that video. I filmed it a few weeks ago but I hadn't had time to edit it. So there you go. I hope you liked it. And since then, I've had my image appear on the cover of a magazine. So excited. And to celebrate, I'd love to do a print giveaway. So the information is below in the description.